All right then, are you ready for this? It's Friday, we're going to have some fun. Now, you don't need anything for this except yourself. Maybe loose clothing would be good and you can do it sitting down or you can do it standing up. Okay, the main thing that we have to think about is getting our feet flat on the ground. If you're standing up particularly about shoulder width apart. Bare feet is, is okay. You're not going to be moving around so if you've got slippers on it's not going to be a problem. However, please do it in a safe space and um, where you're not going to be disturbed and when you're sober it's usually good. I say that because I did actually mention in the little description thing which I don't know where it goes but that it could be done after a heavy night after having had a good night out you could do this in the morning when you're feeling a little bit oh, tired everything slow that kind of time or when you're about to have a big project that you really need to be zoomed in for so it's really easy all it takes from you is a little bit of suspension of disbelief if you're not into this and just have fun with it because we're just going to be taking ourselves and using something that we have inside our bodies anyway. Mm -hmm. Qi is an energy flow that is around your body. And in Chinese medicine, there are many meridians that deal with the Qi. In martial arts, there are many ways to upset the Qi for your opponent. It can also be used as a force to repel people in masters of chi energy. We're not going to go there. That takes quite a bit of doing sometimes. However, there are some ways that you can test your chi out. And we might go into that after we've done this. Just to give you a little bit of confirmation of what you can do. So, are we ready? It's really easy. Take your hands like so, with your feet firmly on the ground. Just wiggle your toes into the floor, the carpet, or the back ground, the grass in the, in, in the thing, making sure, of course, that it's safe to do so and there's no projectile object in there that could be giving you some cuts and bruises, shall we say? So, hands apart. Now, some of you may be feeling some warmth in your palms just now. That's okay. But when you're rooted, you're rooting your feet into the floor, into the ground. You're connecting with the energy there. And you can feel, perhaps, now that your energy levels, you're getting interested. Now, just below your tummy button, your navel, there's an area of your body which is called the hara and that has a circular kind of flow going on of energy and I want you to think about this. Now you can picture it, you can maybe feel it buzzing as it goes around, hear it buzzing, you can feel the movement perhaps, whichever one of your senses it is that you use more often than anything to deal with everyday life and to explain things to yourself, use that. It's called your representation system. I'm very visual, so I'm using, using visual language. But I'm also using kinetic language in that I'm feeling and I want you to feel it too. So just with that idea of this energy inside you and it's moving and moving, moving, bring it up right the way up your spine branching through your heart and out through your arms and into your palms and as you're just moving your palms slightly together and thinking about this energy this amazing energy that could be coming and you've got in the palm of your hand always you might feel that there's a little bounce a little bit of 
resistance starting to come now. It may take longer for some. Some of you will already be there going, ooh, what is that? Some of you already know what I'm talking about. So you can bounce it a little bit over. And as you feel it getting more bouncy, there's more resistance there, you could perhaps understand that you can put your hands around in a circle and feel the size of this ball and know that this ball is swirling with energy. It's like a little dynamo of energy and it's just there and it's growing because you're putting energy into it. So it's a bit like blowing up a balloon, but it's a balloon that is absolutely so expansive that it can take as much energy as you can imagine and more. So when you've got this ball and you're feeling it and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, that feels good. Then just hold on to this ball and push it up and up and up and up and up all the way through the ceiling all the way through your bedroom ceiling all the way through the sky to the stratosphere past the sun and as it goes it's collecting the rays of the sun all the energy the warmth and the goodness and the really good stuff that's out there all the solar flare energy all the starlight energy because we're in space now and it's going farther and farther and farther into the universe and it's gathering every time and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just taking all this stuff and when you're happy with where it is start to bring it down but you can also bring it down as you bring it down you can concentrate that energy you can condense it into a manageable size for your palms to hold on to and wow is it buzzing now? Is it feeling like there's something in there that's kind of bouncing off the walls, wanting to get out? Are you just feeling this thrumming, thriving energy that's in there? Well, I wonder where we would go with it now. Let's push it down. Let's go down deep into the center of the earth, go past the mantle, go past into the molten core of the earth and pick up all the energy that's going on in there, magnetic energy, the wonderful flow of lava, the stone energy, the memories of energy that's through there, what made the earth what it is. And it may pop out the other end of the earth and go down that side and pick up some more energy from there. Do this in your own time. But enjoy the feeling of this collection, this communication, this connection with energy. And then when you're ready, start to bring the ball back up again. And yeah, it's got really big again, but guess what? You can condense that ball and you can bring it back up to just about in front of your tummy, just in front of your navel. And just allow yourself to feel that ball and breathing in gently, the oxygen ah, and feeling the energy that's inside that and understanding that it's all there for you and most of it is actually yours because you're still putting energy into that ball and it's just sitting there outside of you and it's swirling round and it's being movement and it's this lively thrumming electric static even ball of energy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to engage that energy. We're going to actually absorb that energy. So take a deep breath. And on the next in breath you take that ball and you push it straight into your belly. And you can feel that energy as it spreads and it comes out and it's swirling around the harness, taking it around your body and it's coming out through your arms and it's almost like you're shooting bolts of light out of your fingertips. You are so energetic. And it's coming up through your head and your brain is just exploding with ideas and wonder and being wakeful. 
<sighs> Practice it. It will get better every time. Use your imagination. If you're not too figured out on the details, just think energy, I'm attracting energy into this ball. And then when you get it in there, you can put it into your heart, you can put it straight into your hara, but you're taking it inside you and you're absorbing the energy that you've just collected. And you're waking up your system. Now, we talked about, at the beginning, a little convincer. Fingers like this. Now, if you have someone in the house with you, you can try this together and it's fun. So this chi energy we've been talking about. Before you start, ask someone else or do it yourself and just do this. You know. However, when you put your chi in there, you don't have to tighten any muscles. You just have to think about that chi energy and it's going to those fingers and those fingers will not move. You want those fingers to stay rock steady so that no one can actually move them. You can't move them, no one else can move them. And you can try to move them. You can try to open them up. But until you decide that you want to be open now, they will not move. Like everything that is in us and around us, we have, we can, and we have the ability, the capability, to use it to its best results for us. Have fun with this. Throw your chi ball into the air, collect ions and electrons and collect solar flares and sunshine and vitamin D and all these different things. Push it down into the ground and collect the energy of the earth. The tidal energies, the wind energies. And then embrace them, absorb them. And you can let me know how you get on. For some it will be easier than others. But as I say, if you suspend your disbelief, it's amazing what can happen. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.